Welcome back to the channel, guys. <clears throat> I'm coming through with another video. Feeling a little better today than yesterday and the day before and the day before that. I'm hoping to feel close to 100% again in about a week's time. I'm looking forward to that. I absolutely hate getting sick. I'm not used to it. I take such good care of myself and my health that it barely ever happens, but you know, here we are. But I think I'm past the worst of it and that's a good sign. So let's get with this video. This is something I'm about to explain that a lot of men in this world do not understand. A lot of men also understand this, but a lot of men don't. And that's, that's my point here. And if you're a woman watching this video, you know who you are. No video is ever considered all women. That's just not true. So just because it's labeled woman doesn't necessarily mean it's you. You know who you are. I shouldn't even have to explain this. Because there's people getting triggered for no reason just because you probably feel like it. Just because you, you, know, you might be having a bad day. You just want to say something or do something because it's your gender. Like, come on. Go cry, River. But anyways, my point in this video to make is that <clears throat> a lot of men don't understand that women want to benefit off of you. The selfish ones. But they don't want you to benefit off of them. And this is kind of how it is today. It's like all these women, these modern day bimbos, they feel entitled to a particular 1% of man without even being a traditional woman. And I'm not saying every situation is like this. So if it's not you, then that's good. If it is you, you'll probably be triggered because the truth is getting laid out right, right in your face. <clears throat> These women feel entitled to a 1% man without even being a traditional woman that can hold it down, that can do what she's supposed to do on her end because it goes both ways. 1% <clears throat> men are in a position where they definitely do not need you. You need them a lot more than they need you, but you feel the need to benefit off of them. But they can't benefit off of you in any way, shape, or form. Get out of here. Come on. <clears throat> and this is why today <clears throat> standards have gone way up, <clears throat> which I'm not saying it's the worst thing in the world. But... The way it has gone, it almost became delusional to a point where all these chicks are not nearly qualified enough to get a type of man of that caliber, but they feel entitled to do so because they feel she's doing it, she's doing it, she's doing it, but that she is qualified for what she can do for her man, and you can't even do those things and you still feel qualified to get that type of man without being without being what he really wants in you. He don't want you. There's a lot of boxes you do not check off. That's why I, I, I say they feel entitled. You don't deserve anything. I don't deserve anything. You don't deserve anything. Nobody deserves. Deserve. I deserve this. The fuck? You get what you put in. And then you deserve what you get. You don't just, because it's you. I'm special, no. You get what you put in. You can make yourself special, <clears throat> but you're not born special. You're not. Everybody wants to be told, and be told by their parents growing up, oh, you're special. They're going to tell you these things, but they're not going to tell you the, the real reality of the world. <clears throat> Let's be honest. 
people are special in their own ways, quite possibly. But there are certain things that just do not qualify you as being special. You have to, you, you, there's certain things that, there's requirements that you have to meet to get particular things. Maybe you could be, maybe you could be special to some average man, but you might not be special to the highest quality man you could possibly get. And this is the truth. This is reality. You're pretty average to him, maybe even below average. And you think you have this entitled, unrealistic mentality that you're special. You should deserve him. He should do everything for you. You barely have to do anything for him. It's crazy. And even for like, I don't even care if you're a top percent guy watching this video, you're a low percent guy watching this video, average, who knows. There's a lot of these guys that don't get, because you guys are looking for some woman to come in to benefit you, to play nice to you, to be right to you. But she's also playing the game. She wants a lot from you that you can't do for her. So she's not even going to look your way, if that makes sense. You have to be something particular in order for over half these women out there today to even to even look your way, period, let alone end up being with you, ended up doing things for you and, and stuff like this. You've got to do a damn lot, bro. It's way harder to be a man than a woman in this world. Way harder. Because women are born with their value to the point where they don't, they don't have to do and they don't have to work hard like a man has to work hard. To create value. A man has to work his ass off, change a lot, and create his value over time. Women, on the other hand, their value is mainly in their beauty. And maybe to learn traditional woman type qualities. To really benefit a man that really has it all together to begin with. I can just make things even better. So, <clears throat> no woman is going to want to just come into your life to, to make your life better when you can barely do anything for her. It all makes sense at the end of the day. Like I said, no one's complaining. It is what it is. <clears throat> Even I had the wrong mindset whenever I was younger because I didn't have it all together. There's a lot of good, there was a lot of things about me that was good, but I didn't have it all together. And I'm living proof right now, how much things change when you become a higher quality, high tier type of male that has it all together. Women flock. They're going to come left, right, and center. You're going to get approached almost daily. <clears throat> if you go out, women are going to put their hands on you. And I don't mean physically in a, in a, in a harmful way, in a flirty way. If you wanted to, you could, you could sleep with these women. That's what it comes with. And if you make your life better and you become that top tier type of man that all women die to have, women become easy to deal with. They're very hard to deal with when you don't have your shit together. And it makes sense, guys. No one's complaining. It makes sense. Because you have not proven yourself as a man. You have not got it all together yet as a man. When I was younger, I was not proven yet. I said, you wait and see. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. You wait and see. But guess what? The results were not there yet. You can say whatever you want to say. They don't care about that. They're waiting for the winners. They all do this. They don't care what you're going to become. They want you to become it without them, without their help. And when you do this, <clears throat> it becomes easy with them. It becomes easy. And sure, you might be an exception to the rule. 
you might have because there's a lot of women too that are not like that they will date kind of an average average type of man but when things go that way a lot of things end bad divorce things of this nature people that marry or even get together too young they a lot of the time a high percentage of the time they end up divorcing things don't work out that's why a lot of people today want to create their value from a young age which is definitely smart because now the world is your oyster you get to pick and choose and where a lot of women are also going wrong in this situation is they think <clears throat> They have to become successful, independent, and all these things, but that does not make you more attractive. <clears throat> you should focus on staying healthy. You should focus on your beauty. You should focus on a more, more of a mindset of being better <clears throat> to the right man. And I'm not saying don't go and get your money, but you shouldn't have this I'm a queen, I don't need a king type mentality because there, a queen does not exist without a king. It does not. And I don't care who that offends. It is the truth. There's no such thing as a high value woman by herself because her value dictates what type of man she can get. What type of man she can get dictates her value. That's how it works. A man has to create his value. He gets the girl. When a girl can get a very high tier type of guy, that can dictate her value. That can make her a queen. It's, it's really like this, man. It really is. I'm not saying you can't be a good woman on your own. But you can't call yourself a queen without a king. It takes, it, it's one-on-one. -on -one. A king can be created on his own. A queen cannot. Because no successful, independent, alpha chick that's just bulldozing through life. Like, that's not your goals. Even if you think so, it's going to catch up with you over time. Your mindset's going to change. It's not going to be what, it's not, it's not what you think it is. You're not going to like what's coming down the road. You can think what you want now. Wait as time goes on because you're going to regret what you did not do. Which is get your man. Which is have a family. Which is have kids. Which is what brings women ultimate happy, ha happiness. It's not career driven shit. It's not the money. It's having a family. It's having people. Because women are people. W women are social creatures. Way more than men. Men can handle being alone. Men can handle doing those things. Men can handle being independent. Men can handle being strong, being independent with that bulldozer mindset going forward in life. But women, it's going to catch up to it's, it's going to catch up to them, and they cannot really. It's 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 not it's not ideal for them. It's not what they really want. And some of them tell themselves this, but like I said, time's going to go on. They're going to see the truth. And they're going to know they messed up. It happens to a lot of them. If you look at the statistics, this is not me talking shit. This is statistics. <clears throat> the most unhappiest people in this world, <clears throat> period, <clears throat> are women over the age of 40 that don't have a ring, that are single, without children. One in four of these women... You could be an exception, but one out of four of these women are doped up on antidepressants and all these other things because she got serious issues. And this is, this is statistics. This is not me just saying this. This is real. So it goes to show that it is true. And all women is going to tell you this. Like where I come from, guys, most of this stuff don't even exist. But I see what's going on in the world, and I like to elaborate on it. Some of this does exist where I come from. It doesn't exist a whole lot, but people are pretty good. And we have it pretty good, like where we come from. It's not hard to get girls. It's not hard to do anything. It's, it, it's, quite, it's quite easy, especially if you become 
a top tier type of guy because they just flock. The options are yours. Rightfully so. You created your value. You worked your ass off. Of course it's going to be easy with women. They all die for a guy like that. They all do. So, it's something to think about. And like I said, guys, women don't want to benefit your life unless you're a top tier guy. Then maybe they'll come in and they'll do some traditional things for you. Maybe they'll cook and clean and mop, sweep, whatever. But they don't want to, if you're just some average guy that can't really give them what they feel they deserve, she's just not going to come into your life to make your life better. She's going to feel she's doing more for you than you're doing for her. That's why it's like this. That's why the best thing you can do is not only make your life kick ass, not only become a top tier guy just to get women. It's the fact that you don't have to deal with women's bullshit. You call the shots. That's the position every man dies to be in. Nobody wants, and nothing should be hard. The only thing that, nothing should be hard with people, period, with anybody. The only thing that should be hard is getting on the right path and purpose, which is definitely not easy. It's, it's very difficult, but it's something you have to do. As young as possible, preferably, because the sooner you do it, the quicker everything else in life becomes a lot easier. Everything, not only women become easier, everything becomes easier. Paying your bills becomes easier. Everything becomes easier. And life becomes a whole hell of a lot better. You get to pick and choose. Now there's going to be women that has a hard time getting with you because you're in the position of being a powerful top tier type of man. You are in a powerful position. You get to pick and choose. You get to do whatever you want to do. If you feel that you've got somebody that's just not it, you don't have to deal with them, man. You don't. You get to stay patient. You get to really weigh out your options as a man because you deserved it because of the work you put in. You don't deserve anything just to deserve it, but you put in the work to deserve it. There's a difference. There's a lot of entitled people today that they think they deserve this and deserve that without putting in the work. You don't deserve nothing unless you put in the work. So you can't cry of what you don't have if you don't put in the work. Whenever I became awakened, when I was younger to all these things, I just allowed myself to let all this stuff put a chip on my shoulder. I didn't cry, I didn't complain about the girl, I didn't cry and complain about shit. I just got focused on my life. Okay, I see how it is, okay. You become cold, you, you get that killer instinct and you go out there and you get what the F you want out of life. Guess who comes back? All these girls come back, all of them. And you don't want them no more. And that's amazing. That that that's you just got all your power back. Everything that just did not go your way is now in your way. And now you get to pick and choose. If you want them back, you could have them back. But you could probably even get better now, so it's like, yeah, you know, I don't want you now. My mind, how the tables have turned. And it's not even a it's not even a revenge type of thing. It's the fact that <clears throat> you can literally get better now. So why not? They were quick to throw you under the bus. They were quick to play the game with you. To do that to you. Okay. That's how you want to play. Okay. No loyalty? Okay. I You don't expect me to be loyal to you. You can come right back in when you feel it's convenient. I'm not going to be loyal to you. If you were loyal to me from the beginning, of course I would have been loyal to you. I, I, I would not have let go of you. I would have been loyal to you. We'd still be together right now. I would have made you better as a woman. But you did what you did. You don't deserve this. I'm not going to give you this if you deserve it. 
There might even be a part of me that wants you back. I'm not going to give you this because you don't effing deserve it. A top tier man is not going to give a woman that does not deserve him any time of the day. And I'm going to tell you that right now. So last thing is last, guys. <clears throat> Women don't want to make your life better if you can't make her life better. Top tier men don't want to make any woman's life better if she can't make his life better. Both genders have to make each other better. It takes work. Some people just want to haul around. Some people just want to do this. Some people just want to do that. I think you're all a little loony. I think you all have no... You have no plan in life. You're just existing. You're just probably working, probably doing something. Doing stupid shit all the time. You don't know what the hell's going on. I feel sorry for these type of people. I really do. The same people that have no discipline, they, they feel the need to do these things. No discipline. They're going to get older. It's all going to come back on them for the things they didn't do. It's going to hit them like a ton of bricks. People really mess up in life, man. They really do. And I would hate that to be me. That would suck. So that's why I'm saying get on your shit as young as possible. Become valuable as young as possible by putting in the work on yourself. It's the only thing you should be concerned about. Who gives a F about her if you're a woman who gives an F about him? It really does go both ways here. We have to understand what each other want. You have to be what she wants. She has to be what you want as well. We were, we, we were all grown, we, we were all taught growing up that relationships are so easy. You can just meet somebody and it's going to work. You don't even know who the F you guys are. You're worried about that. You don't even know who each other are. There's so many other better things out there in the world. So many. And you're going to sell with somebody you don't even know just because you want a relationship. You don't know them. You don't know your damn self. Work on yourself first. It's the best shit you can ever do because it's going to, it's going to like clarify, it's going to put the stamp on it that you know who you are, you have your shit together, you know what you want, same as your other person. It's going to, there's a, such a high percentage of a chance it's going to work out. Rather it being like a low percentage of a chance of working out because you're just dating somebody to date somebody. You didn't work on yourself, they didn't work on their self, boom, boom, boom. That's how things end up not working out. So I hope this video can bring some more understanding to both genders. This is not a bashing any gender type of video. This is the truth. This is what both genders really want. People just want what people want their equal. People want what they feel they deserve. Unfortunately, there's entitled people in this world that are not cut out for the person they think they deserve that's where people are going wrong because you have this entitled mindset but you can't be what the other what, what, what your person wants you can't be what they want you don't deserve them it is what it is that means you have to win that means you have to become a winner for whoever you are Whatever gender, whatever gender, gender you are, you have to become a winner yourself first. Men win a certain way. Women win a certain way. They don't do the same things to create the same value. Men and women are not the same. Women's value is way different than a man's value. Both have value, but they're both different. So you have to figure that out. You got to do what you got to do. And you should have no problem in attracting the person you really desire. That's it.